It's a rematch of Super Bowl 47 minus one Harbaugh. The Ravens and 49ers are underway. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play. It's second down. I'll give him credit for trying, but there's no fool in the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run and then execute it. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. It was just third down and short, but he'd been off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to roam. Yeah, that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Dre Greenlaw getting home on that one. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter, because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll look to throw. They have pressure coming, and they got him once again. Samson Abuka providing a little deja vu, back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Now now is the punter, Jordan Stout. And we'll see what he can do on the return. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Lance in the 49ers now, first and 10 at the 34. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now a give right side McCaffrey. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And some room to maneuver. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. No score after one on EA Sports. McCaffrey on the counter. 
And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Play action. Now it's Lance. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. The last run went so well for them, maybe they should have just handed it off right here, too. Instead, the quarterback ends up keeping, and the defense is right on it and wipes away the yardage gained on the last snap. Throwing his lance on third down. Gets this one to use check. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Lance and company going on fourth down. They're able to haul it in as Kittle. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Second and goal from the one. Again, McCaffrey. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey punching it in from a yard away. And the Niners post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw pulled in by Robinson here. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 32 yards as we inch our way to the two-minute warning. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give him a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. Jackson on first down. That's taken in by Duvernay. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution. They are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at whip. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. And the 49ers are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, 
that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. And a nice run to get this up over the 20-yard line. Off of play action, here's Lance. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Lance with a tap forward on the jet sweep. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 64 yards. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. On second and ten, Jackson shifts by him. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. This time they stay on the ground. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. That's to his running back, complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. He turned that into a nice game, gets him eight yards closer for third down. Oh, yes, this is what the good ones do. He used his legs to buy a little bit more time rolling to his left, and at one point, he flipped the switch from passer to runner, and he got a pretty good gain out of it. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third down, here's McCaffrey. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. And they'll go for it. Lance. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he is going to have the Niners first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Here we go. Ready. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And it's a room to run now. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 79 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Back. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. To throw, it's Lance. That's complete out left to IU. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's Lance. Touchdown! George Kittle with a touchdown grab for Trey Lance. And the 49ers take the opening kickoff of the third.